So now we're just going to sort of go through the slides real quick. Again, he took a slightly different approach in this than I did, but not that different. Uh, the same sort of in words here, right? That's what I wrote down for control mass. And we have the same picture here. It's just what he chose to do was in sort of doing it in differential form from the beginning, he sort of chose finite quantities, right? So his little control volume, instead of being over a differential length x, it's over a finite length delta x, okay? And a finite time delta t. So now, instead of having, a, he also didn't say the rate of, right? So instead, now he says mass in minus mass out plus generation equals accumulation. And so then he, because of that, to get mass, you know, I, this term for me was a mass rate. So I didn't need to multiply by the delta t, right? Because he want, you know, his it's mass, so he has a mass rate. This is a mass rate times time gives you mass, okay? So and then this little symbol here just means evaluated at x. So this is x. This is x plus delta x. Right? So the m dot evaluated at x times the area times time gives you the mass going in on this side. m dot evaluated at x plus delta x times the area times time gives you the mass coming out. Right? The mass generated is the, the um, this source term times the volume times time again, and then the accumulation term is, you see the same term here, times the volume at time t minus delta t minus this guy times the volume at evaluated at time t. Okay, so he used finite increments. That's the only difference. I just started off with a differential thickness, and he used increments. And so then if you divide the mass balance by A delta X delta T, you get an equation that looks like this. And then taking the limit as delta X goes to zero and the limit as delta T goes to zero, well, then you get the definition of a derivative, right? This is clearly the definition of a derivative from calc 1. So then he has these two terms, which then he substitutes in m dot equals rho u to get the continuity equation. So the only difference was he used finite quantities and took limits, and I started with differential quantities. Okay.